Hello everybody, my name is Julia. Welcome to my cross stitch channel. This is my stitching world. Today I will show you a little progress on my beautiful uh, whisperers uh, from Hayat and of course um, unfortunately I had not so much to stitch uh, cross stitch so I had not so much time so I just um, was doing a bit stitching uh, past half a month probably so that's how my beauty is look I'm sorry for sharing a shade from my camera because I just can't really find normal spot to make a video and she's still very wrinkled but <clears throat> I still have to do something more stitching on it <clears throat> so far I am I'm 82% done look how awesome she looks I finally start start her shoulder and her the color of her dress on that side and um, there are some more leaves <clears throat> leaves from the tree will go on on that side too and I hope um, I will be done pretty soon hopefully by February I will be done with this uh, beautiful girl because I want it will be framed as soon as possible um, funniest thing on the camera you can see really well her uh, curls in the hair but you know to me it looks so weird uh, I don't know why maybe because camera make it so pixeled and you can see it this way but anyway she looks very nice I think could be better of course but it's small uh, small size so small size of the pattern so i think it's pretty nice for th that size all right and let's move to my bead stitching i'm gonna make a video just with one shot so i don't want to do um uh, don't want to mm, do montage on my computer i don't really have time by the way everybody happy thanksgiving yeah and my first nice finish um i hope you can see how awesome these apples look like they look like 3d the just apples was stitched unfortunately uh video don't make justice of all this uh shiny beauty but i really i do really love the way they turn out it was um you know it's all the time some kind of interesting way it turn out when you do a bead stitch because it's always pre-printed but you never know how it can turn out eventually um i really love this uh the leaves it's just four colors here and there you know apples have just four colors leaves have four colors and um couple colors two colors of beads goes uh, five and six on um, a little branch um, so single thing I don't like it's the pink the pink is matte color it's not uh, glass beads as the rest of them so I think if it will be different if it will be glass beads will be much more nicer and I hope if I will choose some light color frame um, it will go well on a kitchen because it's very bright green around also I have uh, oranges and pears I'm really curious to start pears oh by the way that's how much beads left from uh, from the apples very a lot I would say um, so the pairs include 12 colors of beads um, they are different compared to apples a little bit totally different colors goes in on uh, green leaves and uh, 
the apples have 10 colors of beads and pears have 12. So all this beauty will go there. I am planning to start to start it probably um, next week. I just just the way I will have a little bit more time because the toddler not really helps too. And all these holidays, look at this beauty. Such a beautiful colors. And of course, some greens. And again, one, just one made color of beads rest of them glass i know i have some well maybe we'll see we'll see um i start the apples a while ago but i think for a couple of weeks it's possible to do it's just to stitch it's pretty fast going so we'll see how the pairs will go it's a little bit more stitching here than an apples and um also i still working on my beautiful tiger i almost finished this beautiful guy i have a little bit more to go over here and a little bit over here by the way if you would like to stitch same mm, same projects um i did looking for it on etsy you can even talk to uh the seller and ask if they have kind of something alike really beautiful very very realistic and you know what i like about the beads F pictures made with stitched with beads they i never tired of them like they hanging on the walls and all this light reflection is just so beautiful oh my gosh this apple's so shiny i'm so sorry i can't really show it to you on the camera it's i wish you guys could see it it's just wonderful and like every different angle it's totally different reflection all right well uh also a little tiny project i had um done uh basically just for uh, one and a half days i stitched this beautiful tassel from mill hill there is six of them actually i have one more right now I'm going to start and i plan planning to buy a couple more it's a really awesome you can make made one of those and just hang on your tree christmas tree um that's so much beads left pretty much a lot but will be not enough even for half of um the tassel if you would like to stitch it again unfortunately and that's how this guy looks like I wish I could show you really well. <laughs> maybe, let's see. On the white colors, maybe it will be better. So, that's how adorable it looks. There's my puppy Buster saying hello. Hey, <laughs> hi, Buster. He's like, what she is doing there? It's so weird. Uh, it was really tricky to uh, put it all together because you have to stitch on one side unfortunately i'm not so handy and it's a perforated perforated paper so you will have to really really be really handy but um this the bottom of it uh was really tricky to do but i'm kind of happy the way it's turned out so i hope this little beauty will go on our Christmas tree this year. I'm sorry guys, I'm doing such a bad job on to make video today. But I just have a little bit of time without child. It's 
actually it's so shiny it's much more shiny than it's on a uh, video but uh, at least you can see all this beads it's pretty cool and i have uh the sapphire tassel so this green one i made here you go you see it's much brighter than on preview so you don't really know what to expect before you will will be finished um i saw some youtube videos how another girls do that and they did much better job than me i hope but it's my first time try my first try so hopefully hopefully the second it will go better and this beauty i'm going to start now actually it's kind of purple mm. it is purple i don't know so i want to buy this plum green i already have rainbow and wisteria also to go so i need to buy three more look how cool all those beautiful beads oh my gosh this tassel gonna be gorgeous absolutely gorgeous uh the instruction is uh very confusing i would say at least to me it was so if you have some problems and you want to do such a beautiful thing you just open youtube and check how somebody find the video how someone already made such a beauty that's what i did because yes it's a little tricky it's pretty small but so adorable oh my goodness i really really love it cute little toy ding, ding. <laughs> Well, I hope uh, you enjoyed my my short video for today. And I hope to make you more happy soon with more videos. If I will find more time and maybe I will have something more to show you with my cross stitch. Thank you so much for watching me. And again, it was Julia. And please uh, leave me comments text me something if you have any questions um the meal heel i bought on one two three stitch and all beaded ones uh this by company dana the apples and pears and also i have oranges same kind of like um you can look in for those on etsy and have a good day great week good stitching time and of course happy thanksgiving to you and to your family bye